if you are facing this blue screen problem then this video is for you as you can see this error says that your pc ran into a problem and needs to restart this problem occurs because of various reasons one is driver issues either corrupted or incompatible for your device another reason could also be corrupted windows files and other reasons could also be some few hardware related issues i am going to take you through all the proven steps to resolve this problem so let's begin first of all if you can access your desktop then quickly come to your search box and type reset and click reset this pc from there come to advanced startup and click restart now and click on this again from there wait patiently and you will come to this blue screen that says choose an option but in case you cannot have access to your desktop then first of all turn your computer on and immediately you see the windows logo or the manufacturer's logo then quickly hold the power button to turn it off do that about three or four times until you see preparing automatic repair and from there wait a while until you see these advanced options that says choose an option from there click troubleshoot then advanced option click startup repair and see if that can resolve your problem but if not then click on command prompt and follow my guide first of all type sfc space right slash scan now and press enter key this command will check the system files and if there are any problems it will repair them after it's done again type chk dsk space right slash f space c then column sign and press enter key this command will check your hard drive or ssd for errors and possibly repair them now our third command boot rec space forward slash fix mbr and press enter again boot rec space forward slash fix boot then enter here sometimes you will get assets denied but don't worry just proceed again boot sec space forward slash nt60 space sys then enter after that close the window and click continue and check if the problem has been resolved or not if not there are two things i'll suggest you do one come back here again to the command prompt and type mdsched and press enter after that this window will pop up and we can check ram problems with this command so here we will check for ram problems so let's click on restart now after that this screen will appear which says windows memory diagnostic 2 and you should wait for it to check if your ram have issues this will take some time so you need to be very patient after the ram test if there are no issues then come back again to this advanced option that says choose an option and click on troubleshoot then advanced options then startup settings and click restart so from there this startup settings screen will show up and you will need to press a number from your keyboard to choose an option i want to enter into safe mode so i'll press 4 from my keyboard and wait patiently until you come to this black screen that says safe mode so first of all come to search and type this cleanup and click on it then click ok after that this window will show up and what this will do is to remove all junks and unnecessary files that may affect the stability of your windows operating system so here you will need to select all the temporary files like these ones and in case you do not need your deleted files in the recycle bin then check that too
After that, click OK and click Delete Files. This will delete all the junk files and catchy files that can affect your Windows operating system. From there, again right click on Start and click Run. Now type msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostics and click ok after that this will open up hardware and devices and click advanced and ensure there's a tick on apply repair automatically then click next from there you select the problem you wish to fix and click next Again, depending on the problem, you either get fixed now or enable an option. In my case, it is enabled because it seems Windows is not currently configured to be able to check for updated drivers. So I will click on enable. And you can see the problem is fixed. From there, if your problem was fixed, you can click yes and after close the window. Again, come to your search and type control panel and click on it. From there, click on programs and features and you will see all the programs installed on your computer. In case you install any programs before you started experiencing the blue screen error, then you can only install the programs from here. But in case it's an update you downloaded and installed for your Windows operating system, then you click view install updates. In here, all update files will show, so you will just have to uninstall that update you think you installed before you had a problem. After I close the window and restart your PC and see if that resolves your problem. If not, then come back to this advanced options again and click on troubleshoot, then advanced options, then system restore. In case you have a system restore point, then you can choose an earlier date when your computer was working well and restore it to that date. But if not, then come back again to this advanced option and click on troubleshoot. Then from there, you can try to reset your PC. So here, click on reset the PC and you can choose either to keep my files or remove everything. If you choose to keep my files, there are two options. Option 1 is to reinstall your windows using the cloud download and the other option is to use the local reinstall. With the cloud download, you might need an internet connection which will download files and reinstall your operating system automatically. But with the local reinstall, you might need to reinstall your windows using a device like bootable USB flash drive or any compatible device. But I would suggest you use the cloud download because this will give you an updated windows reinstallation for optimal system performance. Finally, one last thing I'll suggest you do is the power drain. What this will do is to reset your computer's motherboard and this can solve many compatibility problems. Sometimes this process can even solve the problem of a dead computer if the motherboard capacitors are overcharged. So what you have to do is to remove your laptop CMOS battery. As well as the main battery. After that, press and hold the power button for about 30 seconds to 1 minute. From there, wait for an extra 3 to 5 minutes and put everything back together and try again. So that's all for this tutorial. I'm very sure one of these tips will fix your problem. If not, please kindly contact me through the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But before that, if you got value from this, please like this video and subscribe for more amazing tutorials. Thanks for watching, have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.